so good morning all of you we will start with the topic mass transfer so before going to the topic mass transfer firstly we will discuss about the role of chemical engineers okay what is the role of chemical engineers in industries so in, in every chemical uh, industries the role of chemical engineers is the transformation of raw materials into useful products to an commercial scale this is the role of chemical engineers so how this transformation can be done this transformations can be done by using chemical conversions there are so many chemical conversions techniques so by using chemical conversions we will transform the raw materials into useful products so in chemical process industries the conversions may be either simple or it may be complex so this depends on the process designs okay so what is the primary objective the next topic is what is the primary objective of chemical process industries what are the primary objectives of chemical process industries so these are confined to three points one is transformation of raw materials into useful products and the second one is through optimal process design considerations and an economical path that is profit okay so these are the three points that are confined to the primary objective of chemical process industries so what does it mean transformation of raw materials into useful products so the selection of the selection of raw materials are very important okay depends on the processes as you all know in hess's law we have already studied that one product can be can be obtained using single step or multiple steps okay single steps or multiple steps okay so the process raw materials selection is an important parameter okay then the next one is next one what we here seen that is optimal process design so what does it mean optimal process design mean in all process industries the raw materials are converted into products okay so this means the raw materials are converted into products so there is some conversion processes and these conversion processes are connected to some equipments okay so this equipments optimal design is an important parameter that is the second point and the last point is economical path or economical way so every process industry is need what profit so profit either may be done by using the production should be simpler making production simpler and also reduce the the loss of materials from each phase okay so these are the three points that are connected to the primary objective of chemical process industries so next topic is separation of mixtures okay the separation of mixtures are the major class of 
operations in chemical process industries so in some cases the separations may be done by using separation may be done by using mechanical means okay by using mechanical means let us take the example of suspended solids suspended solids in a liquid medium in a liquid medium okay we have to separate the suspended solids from the liquid medium either by filtration technique or by centrifugation or by using settling techniques okay these are the techniques that are involved for separating the suspended solids from the liquid medium so when we consider a small sized particles small sized particles in a gas medium so how we will separate by using some equipments that is cyclone separators cyclone separators or by using back filters so let us take the example other example as two immiscible liquids two immiscible liquids so we have to separate the liquids by using decantation okay based on density difference okay so these are the separation techniques okay these are the separation techniques okay in some cases in some cases this separation may not be possible or this is the separation may not be easy that is in some liquid or gaseous mixtures so in that case what we will do we will add some additional agents we will add some additional agents or particularly name it as solvents to the to the medium so what is the the purpose of this solvents the solvents has the has the capability to to extract one of the component from that medium okay so the criteria for selection of solvents are one it is non toxic and in some cases it is non corrosive and the solubility of solvent with the components in the medium so these are the selection criteria for the solvents so let us take one example that is what ammonia gas mixture so in this case we have to separate the aim is to separate the ammonia so we have adding water as a solvent and this has the ability to extract ammonia from from the mixture okay so in some cases in uh, one case that is distillation the thermal energy what is the purpose of distillation the thermal energy is used to separate the more volatile component from the solution okay so these separation processes so these type of separation processes based on some 
some principles based on some principles so these principles are principles of mass transfer principles of these are principles of mass transfer and the separations that follow this principles of mass transfer mass transfer are called mass transfer operations okay is it clear okay the separations that follow this principles of mass transfer is called mass transfer operations okay so next topic is mass transfer okay so what is the definition of mass transfer that is the net transport of species from one point to another in a single phase or from one phase to another due to concentration difference so this is the definition of mass transfer from this definition it is clear that mass transfer is a transport process okay so from one point to another point what is the meaning of that when we consider or let us consider a beaker and fill it with some liquid and add some species a into that beaker and the species a is moving from one point to another point through the liquid medium that is the meaning of one point to another point that is through a single phase that is liquid liquid phase the movement of that species through the liquid phase that is the meaning of that sentence and from one phase to another phase means what that is when we consider a gas liquid mixture and a species from the gas is moving through the interface to the liquid medium that is the species transport from one phase to another phase so this should be done only by the driving force that driving force is what that is the concentration difference that is the driving force that is the driving force for mass transfer so driving force for mass transfer is the concentration difference okay so let us say take a beaker fill it with water and add some lumps of sugar to the medium liquid medium and the uh, species of sugar component take it as a and at time t is equal to 0 that is the initial state here the concentration of a the species a that is denoted as c a that at time t is equal to 0 the concentration of a at the top layer of the liquid is maximum and at time t is equal to 0 at the initial state the concentration of a at the bottom layer is minimum so here what there is a concentration difference this concentration difference this concentration difference is the driving force is the driving force for the transport of transport of species from one point to another okay so principles of mass transfer are of two types one is diffusional and the other one is convective diffusional means that is molecular movements molecular movements inside the medium okay 
then convective means that is the mulch motion of the medium that is the difference between these two okay we will discuss about these topics in the next class okay okay thank you